Hi Leo, this is your monthly tarot cards reading by Emma for the month of April 2022. Okay, I'm going to start immediately. So four cards. The world. Nine of swords. Nine of wands. The empress. Your influencing energy. Queen of cups. Now, the world. With strength. Nine of swords with a two of wands. Nine of wands with the moon. And the empress with page of swords. Right. The hierophant and queen of cups. Look. Uh, maybe somebody else in your environment, maybe your mother, your spouse, your sister, perhaps Cancer, um, Scorpio or Pisces person out there, energy from March, perhaps even earlier on, important energy from earlier on that will influence your April in that sense, okay? You were with this Hierophant, you did believe. You've been waiting for something to develop, for something to show up in your life. This is very intelligent energy, very faithful. Things will happen, even if there are delays, you did understand why and how, and you knew, you believed it will going to happen and so on. That kind of energy. Maybe somebody, your mother, your sister, somebody who loves you, supported you. Maybe your spouse. This is just an emotional support. You know, that what you believe in, this one is supporting you. Yes, you're right, I'm standing by you. In that sense, energies from earlier on. It could be that you did show yourself um, in your outer world as such a person, like emotional, like very emotional, but stable, but loving, like with these motherly feelings, you know, being satisfied with yourself in, in a way, okay, could be because of these plans, because of this expectation, because of that faith, okay, you were happy with yourself, could also be something like that from earlier on in March. First week of April, now we do have this... Uh, two majors, the world and strength. This is work. I mean, hard work. And it seems to me like, you know, when you are forcing yourself to do something, you know, something is completing, something supposed to start anew. Uh, I kind of felt it from, from earlier on. Something you are working on and you are expecting to to begin to happen, to begin to show itself. You see what I'm saying? And it's not happening yet. But you cannot sit still. You have to work. You know, that is kind of, uh, how can I, uh, your healing mechanism. You just cannot wait. And you have to do something. And you are doing, you are forcing the issue. You are doing things. You are keeping yourself busy. Is it necessarily to be done now? Perhaps not, but you will do it. You see, in that sense, this first week of April, you will force yourself to do things. Uh, everything that you see around that could be perhaps useful later while you're waiting for things to develop. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's, you know, you kind of just bringing it up. I can still finish these things. I can still finish that thing and, and so on. Keeping busy because you cannot see it still in that sense. Now, look, your nightmare uh, on second week of March, it's, it's the very same thing. I mean, you cannot carry on like that. This is kind of keep, keeping busy while you wait. Now you're already desperate. How long I'm still going to wait? You know, you begin to fear. Will it ever happen? What is going to happen? Now, two of wands is lovely energy. It seems you did put things together. Okay? And, and you are very faithful. This is very much enthusiasm. You put everything together. Even if it's not needed. Okay? You were working on it to make this solid platform, to make these great plans to support this vision of, you know, your new life, of your new career, of this new partnership or something. You know, you do have vision, you did put things together and you are waiting for decision. My impression here that you are waiting for something around you that is not about your decision because perhaps if it's your decision, it would be there by now. But it's perhaps something that you are waiting for. You are waiting maybe for some documentations. Everything is there on the ground, you are waiting for approval. 
maybe something like that. You are waiting for somebody else's decision. Somebody else is on board and is not ready. Now you're waiting for another one and you are desperate. It's your nightmare. It seems to you, it seems like it's never going to happen. Will ever, will I ever manage to cross through this gate eventually to this new life, to this happier life? You, you kind of... You know what I feel like you've done everything, not just everything, 110%, even things you didn't need at this stage, okay? You've done it, everything, even more, and still waiting, okay? Nightmare here, second week of April, extends further with the Nine of Wands now and the Moon. Now, it's, it's carry on, you know, carry on, do something, put this tie this loose ends something that you have started maybe you haven't finished completely off you're gonna finish it or you're gonna redo it or well, you've done it all of it you have done now you're gonna redo it because you want it or because you have to otherwise that what you have done that how you put it together it's not gonna work okay you're never gonna manage to move forward with this plans that you have could also be something like that that something is uh, something is wrong with your plans or you are waiting for these outer sources to make decision for you but definitely waiting is there now redoing your plans to accommodate that another one to accommodate government institution because they are requesting from you something else. It has to be different. Now you have to redo it. You are busy. You're not happy with that, okay? But you will do it because this is must. You cannot move on definitely without this, what you are doing here, third week of April. Whether that is, as I said, something that was requested from government institution. Okay, you are waiting for the decision. Now they ask you, yes, we cannot make decision because your plans are you know, not to our standards or something, you see what I'm saying? Or you are just redoing it just because of betterment. You can make them better. You see what I'm saying? Just putting effort, just working, maybe very same energy, like first week of, uh, like this first week of April. Now again, you have to do it because there's no other way. You're still waiting and you don't know when you will manage to move on. You know, you don't know when you're going to get this go ahead. And now you are just redoing things, make them better, uh, prove that you can, you know, it's just that you cannot sit still. Could also be the very same thing like first week of uh, April. Anyway, still waiting, but keeping busy because you have to or because you want to. It seems... Now, it seems by the end of the month that you will have solution. There is news, okay? There is change of mind. You will change your mind, okay, about the whole thing, okay? Now, you will see what was wrong. Perhaps something was wrong in your plans. Perhaps, perhaps something was lacking all the time. And, and that was the reason, okay, why your plans didn't move on, why you didn't move forward. Yes, there was vision, there was plans, and all stuck in one place. Now, this is clarity. This is solution. Page of Swords brings that solution. Now, whether that you will change everything altogether. Whichever way, you will have that in your mind, that missing puzzle, that missing piece of information. Somebody made decision, you got it. That paper, the document came on end of the month. Could also be something like that. Or as I said, that piece of your information, that little knowledge, that little aha moment in your mind could be also. But you do have it end of the month, okay? A reason for you to feel much better about yourself. Maybe your mother helps you a little bit because we do have this motherly energy here as well from earlier on. Perhaps your mother helps you to make decision. Perhaps your mother is in a way instrumental in making this decision. Your conversation with your mother, your something, something that comes from your mother could be that brought this change of mind, brought this aha moment. Could be that you were showing yourself end of the month with this energy of the Empress. Energy of home, comfort zone, feeling good, definitely feeling good, whichever way it goes, okay? This piece of information, this change of mind, this understanding, this clarity made you feel good, okay? These are also your plans, the, your plans for your future goes perfectly, goes very well with this energy of the Hierophant because this one is pregnant. That what you knew, that what you were faithful about, it will happen. You will bring it on the ground. It will become reality. 
This one says, yes, it will be born a couple of months time down the road. Now you know when things going to happen. You see what I'm saying? Like earlier on, you didn't know when it's going to happen. Now you know. Perhaps that is information that you got. It's not that it's happening now. It's not that it's on the ground. But now you know. It will be in June. And then, oh, you breathe easier. Now you feel comfortable. If it's then, it's all right. Your problem was not knowing when. I mean, you were driving yourself crazy. So it was a nightmare. Now you know. End of the month, you will know when things begin to happen for you and great growth you are expecting. It seems to me it's about something very meaningful to you, something that's supposed to stay in your life, whether that is your employment or your business that you are starting or emigration or, or something that's supposed to change your life long term. Okay, it's supposed to stay. That what is born, supposed to stay with you, supposed to grow for, with time later on. And as I said by the end of the month you will know when things will begin to happen that is most important and perhaps that certainty you needed just for yourself to feel a bit better to feel a bit more comfortable anyway Leo enjoy your month